Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be going over how to properly space out your clutch slave cylinder from your clutch. And if you're not familiar with this project, this is a 2002 Corvette Z06 that we are installing for one of those E-Force superchargers for an LS2. So you definitely want to check out those videos if you haven't seen them yet. And uh, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe. First thing you want to do is torque the clutch down, get it all set up with the clutch disc in. Then you're going to install your bell housing, you're going to get a straight edge, and you're just basically going to take a measurement across the bell housing to the sloped top end of the clutch fingers. We've got 117.98. We're going to have to take it from the transmission side. In this case, we're using the torque tube because it has the Input shaft right here, same as you would on a six-speed uh, manual or similar, any kind of transmission really. So you're going to want to take the measurement with this clutch slave depressed into its final location. So uh, it's easier just to take the spring off. You can get it off by just rotating this. And then you want to stick it back on. And now, like before, you can take a measurement using your straight edge. So, if you notice, it's hard to hold this steady. What I like to do is rock it back and forth and actually feel that flat spot. And then once I know for a fact that it is sitting parallel, then I can take my measurement. Seven point seven four. So we'll subtract the thickness of the ruler. Fifty point nine. So we have a ten point two four gap with this particular throwout bearing. You want your slave side to be slightly shallower than your clutch side. What you want to do is verify with your manufacturer the clutch specs. So with this particular clutch from spec, they require a gap of at least 4.445 mil to 5.715 mil. So if we take a shim, we have is a 3 mil. That'll only bring us to 7.24 mil. So we need about a mil and a half extra on that shim. And that way our clutch will operate wide open throttle. no issues with shifting so um, we're gonna have to get some special shims and it'll actually go behind the slave cylinder itself so if there are any questions uh, let me know in the comments and if you guys need uh, any other information on this sort of thing you know let me know if it was helpful for you definitely leave a like and uh, don't forget to pass this on to anyone who might need it all right guys i will catch you guys on the next one